Standard chip bins are great, but they're big and require a lot of space. What do you do when you don't have enough room? That's a problem that we had to solve, which is why we went with the low profile chip bin from Hippo Hopper. Let's check it out. Like any shop, space is at a premium here, which is why that we had to scale down a hopper and go with this one that we got from Hippo Hopper. It has a lot of the same features that would come standard on any uh, normal chip bin. This one happens to be 36 inches by 24 inches long, actually 30 inches if you include the area where the forks go, and then it's 21 inches tall. It's small size, allows it to fit where we need it to go. It's low profile, so you don't need a chip conveyor coming up to dump in. It fits just below the natural opening of the machine so that you can pull chips in. It's mobile, so it can be moved from where it sits to out here in the aisle, where it can be picked up where, by a forklift. It's got a safety strap so that when it's picked up by the forklift, it doesn't end up inside the dumpster where you're dumping your chips. And it's got a port so that you can drain oil before you dump chips so you can recycle oil and save a few dollars in your shop. If you don't have a lot of space, something like this could be a great tool to solve a lot of problems for you. As great of a tool as this is, it does have a few drawbacks. The biggest nuisance being how it rides on the forks. A standard hopper is big enough, has long channels for the forks to slide into, and so when you're dumping, there's really no issue. But remember, this one's small, and it doesn't have as much space for those forks to go into before it starts to interfere with its actual dumping process. If you look at the bottom, you don't have very much space before they hit a plate, and that's all you got. Partially why this strap is here, to keep the hopper on so that you don't throw the baby out with the bath water when you're dumping your chips. And I've been talking with them about possibly adding some rings to a new hopper so that when we get it, we can apply two straps, and then also as well, maybe making the channels slightly thinner so there's less wiggle room for the forks and it should be good to go. Hippo Hopper helped us not only customize this one, but is continuing to help us make some changes for our next one. A couple of the changes they made from their standard unit for this one, they moved the handle from where it would normally be, as well as rearranged the orientation of the casters, both of which are in an effort to help us get down the very thin aisle we need to get down so that this can sit at the machine. For our next subsequent hopper, they're helping us work through our challenges with forks so that we don't toss our bin into the bin. Possibly a longer handle so people don't have to bend over while they're pushing it down the aisle. A slightly lower location for this port so that when you're draining oil, you actually catch all of it out of the bottom, as well as some contours to the bottom of the bin itself to help promote that oil to flow towards that port. Out of the box, this product's maybe a three, three and a half. However, Hippo Hopper picks up the damn phone. And with all the effort they put into helping us optimize this one on the first go around, as well as continuous improvement on the next products that we're gonna buy to make them work even better. And for that, I'm gonna give this a four star rating. Yeah, piece of cake, give us something harder next time. But overall, it solves the original problem. It fits into a tight space where otherwise we'd have operators just picking up buckets and walking chips out to the aisle. And that gets heavy and it becomes a nuisance. If you liked the video, like and subscribe. If you got a comment or question, go ahead and leave it below. Check out our channel, watch some other videos. Till next time.